The cram session in beta storms is a done deal now and what I'm looking back at is the mixture of quests that I had left to grind for elemental perk and most importantly danger in the mist for my re-perk always need that and of course you, you're not the mini boss of me completely junk for me. So I hope we're gonna be seeing something like that in Fort Nightmares as well something that allows me to grind perk resources. We also have the beta storms that gave us five times per day crazy like really good alert rewards. I grinded those like crazy for about a week because they allowed me on top of the base cram session resources that I had been getting to just look so much more into heroes and weapons that I imagined would be possible for such a short amount of time. But my troll stash llama token, 328 mini llamas, just a bit of a glimpse of how my account is looking after the cram session because I wanted to do a bit of a goodbye cram session video for reference so that when I look back at my gaming at some point in my life I will have an idea about how things are. I bought everything that I thought was interesting during the cram session event including the new Gravedigger, the amazing Rat King and I didn't buy the Bruiser Defenders or the Wall Lights but besides that I am like emptied out the shop pretty nicely and I have around 3000 gold and of course loads of mini llama tokens to kickstart Fort Nightmares if I need like crazy things to buy immediately when I get time to play again. In terms of the cram session period of timing I have been doing like I said so many things looking into the Founders Blazing Mazamoon, perking it up, having loads of fun with that. I have finally managed to get my Fire Hydra up and running fully perked 130, really happy about that. And I did the same with my Water Hydra. And this really means that I now have three maxed out Hydras and the Rat King. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going Nature Element on my Energy Element Hydra and Physical Damage on my Rat King so that I have an amazing slug setup. I looked into the Vintertech Disintegrator and again, like just because I had so many resources, I also maxed out my Tsunami. I haven't changed perks on it yet. I'm going to be looking more into that. But like this is just because of the crazy rewards in the cram session event and in the beta storms that I have been able to do that. If we look into the news, Fort Nightmares is arriving tomorrow and if it is anything like last it is going to be amazing. As you can see we had a grave digger in the weekly stall. Last year I burned out on Fortnite during Fort Nightmares because they extended the event for so long. I got super bored and I actually stopped playing for a while so this time like this year I have loads of stuff going on real life so I won't be having as much game time during Fort Nightmares as I had last year so hopefully it's gonna be it's gonna be good but like I said Grave Digger we got another one of those I have one like maxed out and hopefully we're gonna be seeing a third one in the event because if we do that it is gonna be like, a little interesting I like when I'm able to go all element options on a specific weapon so if I can make because we can change the elements on the grave digger if I can make one for each element it's gonna be really amazing then I will have my hydras and I will have the grave diggers for different types of combat with different elements I really hope they're gonna be giving us another one of those then it's gonna be it's gonna be really amazing so like cram session I think it was an amazing non-event event because we had no real like, quest line. The rewards for progressional players was insane and for hardcore grinders like me the like alert rewards for the beta storms as well allowed me to like level up to Ken's level up crazy heroes got my flagman probably up and running a new shock specialist so in my opinion it was a pretty boring event cram session because we had no like game wise interesting thing going on but in terms of rewards new weapon loads of resources new weapons and loads of resources it was amazing put it down there guys what do you guys think about the cram session event now that it has ended were you like happy with the rewards you managed to get i know a lot of people were a little meh about not being able to complete the beta storms because we only had them for a week and it took hours of hours of grinding so I can definitely relate to that even though I like powered a little through it but what do you guys think cram session it's a done deal and what are your hopes for fourth nightmares I'm gonna be arriving a little late in it so I am looking very much forward to just joining in on the game when it's here as always guys thank you very much and very much for watching